what is up there everyone it's the guy with the gamer tag here and i know i've been saying it for a while but bat for four tips will be on the way shortly it's just a case of i am not yet high enough rank to actually use some of the stuff i'm gonna do i'm mainly gonna focus it around equipment repairs i was uh, equipment comparisons i am thinking that i may do like a series on how it's best to flank on some of the maps but it's a case of i'd probably have to do one map per episode if you want me to do that let me know and let me know what map you like me to do because i do have some ideas for some of the maps now what i'm mainly going to do like i said is equipment reviews so i'll be doing like launcher comparisons like the small versus the rpg uh anti-tank mines um comparisons because of course you have the like the ordinary mine but you also have this new mine which is sort of kind of like a trip detection that if a human or a person and a um vehicle can actually set it off which could be quite interesting um I'll just be comparing like kits against packs because you have when you start out you have like the ammo pack and the medic pack which are like these little sandwiches you throw on the ground which heal and give people ammo but then I want to test that against the actual kit where it's like an actual huge bag you throw at someone to test like if it increases the speed that you like replenish ammo and gain health and any other features like do they stay on the map for longer if you put one down will you be able to put another or will the first one disappear and also um whether it will disappear once it's been used because with some of the packs especially the where they you put them on the floor and they will replenish some ammo or give you some health and then they'll just disappear so i'll be comparing those also i'll be giving tips on actually being a better medic because a lot of people seem to not quite grasp the tactic of medic being a medic in Battlefield 4 because it has changed a bit since Battlefield 3. But yeah, I'll be doing stuff like the binoc in the recon kit. I'll be doing binoculars against the Sofan because they're both good laser detonators. And also grenade comparisons. I'll be having a look at all of those and just testing how effective they are. I'll also be think I'm going to try and test to see if there's any difference. If there isn't, then I probably won't bother making a video on it. But it's recon versus support explosives because on both classes you can have C4 explosives. I think you can have claymores on both classes as well. So it'll be quite interesting to see if there's any difference. Like you might be able to carry more in the support class. I'm not sure. But yeah, that's a. I thought instead of just telling you, oh, they're on the way, they're on the way, I thought I'd give you an insight into what I'm actually planning on doing. See, I'll be doing equipment comparisons, playing the roles of the kits better. Um, I may do a video about bullet drop in this game because it is much different to Battlefield 3 and any other tips you want me to do because I've always got the flanking but if there are any tips you would like me to do then please leave a comment or just let me know in some way there's a particular tip you want to do. Anyway this has been the guy with no game tag. I'll see you in another video and Battlefield 4 tips coming soon.